Hello, in this video of Microsoft Teams, I'm going to show you how students work together in groups. To make the load light on a teacher, it is, it is easy for you as a teacher to allow the group of students to have some ownership of their work and, and their team. And then, uh, so, what you would do as a teacher in your group when you create the groups for students, for do for them to do student work, assign one student a, a leader or the, um, the, the manager or something that you can give some ownership to for one person that's responsible for that group. What they do is that responsible person would then log into Teams and they can go ahead and create their own team for that group. And then what they would do is they would add those members in their group as students and then also add you as a teacher to view and monitor their work, their group work. And no, so this is how it's done. As a student, they would log on to Teams. The group leader would log on to Teams. Then they would go down to the bottom and add team. Teams then add team. Now, as a student, logged in as a student, they go ahead and create a team. Now, they can specify what their group name is. Uh, for your purposes as a teacher, I would say like peer, what, what, the sub, what, what class it is, uh, what subject it is, and then what their group um, would be. So whenever you as a teacher can view their group activity, and provide feedback for them, then um, it would be easy for you to navigate in your favorites list of teams. So let's say that this student group is um, um, uh, period one. And uh, I'm just throwing something out there it would be group SUV for off-road vehicles. And then this would be this would be group one and this would be let's say for example um, uh, outdoors class. Okay now the student will have there are some privacy settings. This one is says it's private only team owners can add members. Well, the, the leader, the student leader, would be the owner. So uh, they can click Next. And then they can add the other group members. Let's say um, Seth Hoover. Let's say, um, since this is James, we're going to use B. Bumbarger. Henry. And then... That group leader, the student group letter, would add you as the teacher and click add. Now, once they're in the group, this is the group for the group one SUV for period one. And then what the group leader would make you a owner. That way you can do go ahead and uh, edit the group, uh, edit that um, uh, the, the work that's inside it and provide feedback. So you want to close that. And now that's how you create the group, student group. Once you're in the period, once the students can get in, so once they log in to Teams, they have access to their group and they can start work. Now, as a teacher, um, if you have to give them group instructions as a teacher, log into that, it, log into Teams as a teacher, go to Files, and then upload that information into their group so they know what they're supposed to do. And then now the students can start creating uh, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations. They can also create folders within the group and then they can contribute to one another. So that's how you would uh, create teams so students can work in groups.